He has. Well, Peter drops the cue. The chalk is up in the air again. Oh, he's collapsed. <laughs> well, what's that all about, Peter? Come on. Peter Ebden almost made a maximum break, but it's that fine break of 68 that's going to take Jimmy Cole into the next round, winning 5-4. Four. 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 Couple of snookers required. One. Knowing Peter Ebden, <laughs> he won't give up just yet. Yeah, the red and pink's not in a bad place here. If he screw, <coughs> screws back and he can just uh, play the run through. Leave the white tight behind the pink, maybe. Leave the white where his hand is now, somewhere around there. Oh, a little bit harder than he wanted. Maybe he's thinking about getting the cue ball in behind the black. It. Peter Ebden, it. Thought he was in the next round, and all of a sudden, he's got a problem. He thought it was pretty safe, but uh, can he miss the green? That's a good shot there. It's one of those situations where you, you think you're in the next round and then all of a sudden <laughs> you realise your opponent's still in with a chance. Two snookers, a lot of frames have been won with two snookers required. Just a fraction too hard. Jamie will take this on. It's amazing. The only reason he's refused the pot there because he was worried about the white running free and maybe going off in the middle. If that had been to win the frame, he'd have took it on. You see so many different things when you. Opponent needs snookers. You look at every negative, and that's what he did there. What does he need now? 37. He only needs one snooker now. So this is far from over. Would you take the red and black here, Dan? Nothing wrong with that, will he? Oh. He wobbled it a touch. Doesn't want to drop in behind the blue. Well, he snookered himself. Oh, 
Oh, Jenny Cope, well, he'll be so relieved to see the white going in behind the blue. Still looks very calm and collected, doesn't it? Eight. He'll settle for that because he hasn't put a colour. He, he moved the green, he moved the brown, but they're still in potable positions. So Jamie has to be very careful. And they're not in bad positions for to get a snooker behind. Jamie would have liked to have seen one of those colours on the side cushion. This looks to be good. What a shot Peter Ebden's pulled out there. From coming across the table, this is awkward. He's got to get very close to the blue. And the yellow's away from the cushion. Unbelievable this. What a important shot this is. And is it a free ball? Peter Ebden, four. I thought he was in the next round. Willie thought he was in the next round. Yeah, Peter knows that this is going to be hit, an easy hit, but he's going to have to now get it safe. Well, it's just uh, that is unmissable. Got to be a miss. He's just checking the scoreboard. Thank you very much. Well, Jamie knew it was going to be called a miss because he was standing waiting to play the shot again. He wants to get a bit of distance between them, but. Make sure you hit the yellow. Now that's got to get in the right spot here because he could get off the right side cushion. Yeah, the reason Peter's put him in here because he knows he's going to have to hit yellow at pace, and if the yellow goes over a pocket, Peter's got a chance of pinching it. Oh. That's about right now where it is. That's before. A fraction away, but I don't think it's making a great deal of difference. Uh, well, he hasn't got to play with side from where it is now. It needs to go back. Yes, I think now because it goes that way. All of a sudden, he's got to play with left hand side, isn't he, Dan? Yes, the type of shot when you're escaping from it anyway, you tend to put a trace aside on it. Let's see. Yeah, that's absolutely spot on. Now. Peter. Yeah, Peter's not going to bother coming near the table. Just agrees to it. Oh, has he fluked a snooker back? Has he fluked a snooker back? He has. Well, Peter drops the cue, the chalk is up in the air again. Oh, he's collapsed. <laughs> well, what's that all about, Peter? Come on. Well, I've seen everything, Willie. What do you make of that? Well, I can understand he's thinking he's not had a lot of luck in this match, but in fairness, he's had every chance to win the match 5-1, 5-2.
Well, I was a professional for 30 years and I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah. Can you imagine the great Ray Reardon going down like that or Joe Davis? What's Peter doing there? Yeah. Well, as I said earlier, he's had chance after chance in this, so he shouldn't be moaning his luck. He's back in the match. He should think I've had good luck. Well, I don't mind throwing the old chalk up or dropping the cue, but uh, well, that's, uh, I mean, people watching at home would think, uh, what's going on here? Well, I'm just going to have a little snooze. Why not? We'll来看看郁闷的折腾一番后，艾伯顿能不能成功接到这杆斯诺克。如果接不了，那么他好不容易追回的比分将再次还给科普。It must be absolutely full ball because he can't swerve around it and uh, the pocket's in the way. Might have to hit it into the jaw of the pocket to get away with this. Needs lots of side on it. Well, if he's hitting the jaw, he doesn't need any side. That's tough. Well. 不断这杆真是够胆尝试，想利用带脚来解黄球，可惜没有成功，还留下了进攻机会。现在科普只要打进黄球就可以再次超分。Twenty-five the difference. He only needs the yellow. Two. Well, he's now delighted, Jamie. Cook. He's had to win this final frame twice, you'd have to say.